Welcome back everyone. In the last video, we went through the production stage in OJS3, and that included scheduling the submission to an issue that was already created in the journal. In this video, I want to show you how you actually can create that issue as well as manage any of the other issues. Right now, I'm logged in as our editor, Calarice, and you can see she's got a much more detailed dashboard here with many submissions on the go, the ability to see any unassigned, active, and archive submissions throughout the entire journal, and of course, all of the settings over here on the side. And the one we want to take a look at is issues. We can look at back issues first. These are issues that have already been created and have been published. We can see volume one number one was published uh, 2016, February 11th, and there were seven items. If we use our little drop down, we could edit it and we can see what's in the table of contents divided into the sections. We could use the order link here that would allow us to move the order that they appear. Issue data gives us information about date published, which we can change. Notice a nice little calendar drops up, pops up. We could change the identification, the volume, number, year. We could add a title. We could add a description. And we could even add a cover image if we wanted that for this issue. So there's lots we can do in issue data. Issue galleys allows us to upload a PDF for the entire issue. It would have all of the articles in one file. That's optional. Not all journals do this, but it's nice to know it's available. And if you're using uh, DOIs or other public URL identifiers, those would be added here. If we jump over to future issues, these are the issues that haven't been published yet, we can choose create issue. And this is where we make a new one. And it's as simple as filling in these forms. This would be number two, uh, still 2018. If it has a title, we can add it. I'm going to uncheck that because I'm not using a title. Description, again, the cover image, save. And that's it. We've tried to make working with issues as simple as possible in OJS3 and that you won't have any problems when it comes to managing back issues or creating new ones for the future. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.